Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to send a notice to a tenant, as well as how to send the notice to a tenant to eSign. To get started, you're going to want to go over to the Contacts tab. From the Contacts tab, you can select View Profile of the tenant that you wish to send a notice to. From here, you can scroll down to where it says Send a Notice and select it. It's important to note that these templates come from a document templates tool via the settings gear wheel icon in the upper right corner of your account. And I'll show you that in a second. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and select that we're going to send a notice of rent increase. From here, it's gonna pull up the document template with all of the autofill element tags that I already added as a part of this document template. I just wanna go through and make sure that everything here is still applicable and make sure that the signature fields were assigned as a part of the document template and scroll down and I can select the option to send to sign. Now, if you do not want to send to sign, you can simply remove the signature box and you can click the send button. Alternatively, if you do want the tenant to e-sign it, then you would simply pull in the signature field into the signature section and assign it to the tenant. And once again, that send to sign button comes back. You can also attach any relevant documents that are associated with this notice right here, and those will be available for the tenant to see via the tenant portal. Once you're happy with what you are sending, go ahead and click the send to sign button, and that is going to send it to the tenant to e-sign, and it's going to show that the signature is pending. Once this has been signed, you'll receive a notification and this status will change indicating that it has been signed. And at that point, you will be able to view the document and the e-signature as well. Now, to add those templates for those notices, you will want to go up to the settings button in the upper right corner, go to the document templates section and select my templates. From here, you'll be able to create a new template if there's not one already here that you can use or that you've previously created. And once you select that, you'll have the option to either do a copy and paste or you can do an upload where you can upload a PDF and assign signatures, dates, and other fields on the PDF. In this particular case, we'll select copy and paste and select get started. And this is where you'll go through the flow to create your document template for tenant notices. We go into this in more depth in another video related to document templates. So be sure to check out that video. That is how easy it is to send a notice to a tenant to eSign. To get started for free, just go to www.tenantcloud.com and click sign up today.